What's up everyone? So the other day I was uh, riding my bike in the back of the property over here and I have a few uh, guava trees uh, planted, like four guavas the barbie red, the bigger uh, pink, uh, pink barbie guavas and as I rode by I looked at the guava trees and I saw a few uh, fruit on there yellow ones, ripe ones so I just wanted to come back here and uh, and take a look and pick them. There you see. I saw three on on this one. There's only one. Now these are fully ripe. Oh, there's the other two in the grass. And there's another green. So I'm gonna have to fix these. From all the water, their roots uh, got a little washed up, washed out. They, uh, the, the wind uh, tipped them over, so I'm gonna have to uh, stake them and bring some dirt on the. Okay, this one, no fruit on this one. Maybe it's in the grass. Oh, I gotta mow the grass. Alrighty. How about over here? Well, this one has a few, but it's uh, they're all green. Actually, it has an overripe one, a rotten one here. Man, I should have checked. I did not come back here for like four months. Anyways, so I had how many trees I bought? The pink Barbie, I bought like ten of them. I planted four over here, two over there, and a few on the other side of the ditch where it's higher. And actually those, those just started to fruit, I just saw a few green fruits. But these were doing better I guess because of all the water. And it means they can stand, take standing water, that's why I planted some of them lower in here. And the other ones up there. To see how much water they can take. But it looks like they can take a lot. Alright. So there's one over here. Is this ripe? Mmm, it smells so good. Ripe or not, it doesn't matter because they can ripen uh, off, the, off the tree. I'm gonna have to come back here and uh, fix them up. Mmm. Oh, I wanna taste one of them so badly. But my hands are full. I have my big ass camera. Canon camera in one hand. So yeah, I gotta gotta finish mowing. There's so much grass and weeds everywhere. It's tough with my little push mower. All right, bananas. What's the mulberry tree doing? Looking pretty good. All right. So four guavas. Not a lot, but you know, that's something. Check out this huge bush over here. I think it's Mexican. What is it? Mexican sunflower. Oh yeah, check out the flowers over there. Pretty yellow flowers. Hmm? I don't know if you can spread them by cuttings. But I'll try. It would be nice to spread them out on the property line. They are quick growing. Sweet potatoes. Pretty uh, flower. Alrighty, I'm fixing my bike. It broke down. There's no traction to the rear wheel. I think it's something in the hub over here. I'm using my backup bike. <laughs> Alright, so let's do a taste test real quick. Let's eat the ripest one.
Mm, the skin is uh, it's uh, it's pruning already. It's uh, it's been sitting for so long on the tree. I gotta take the skin off. Mmm, the inside is so sweet. You can eat the, sk uh, the skin when it's fresh, but this one is um, it's been sitting for too long on the tree. And this is how the flesh looks, pinkish. And it has a bunch of seeds inside, so yeah, don't need the seeds. I mean, you can swallow them. You're gonna poop them out, but be careful when you eat them. They could uh, mess up your teeth. So chew slowly. Mmm. It's sweet, but it does have a little sourness to it, which I like. That's my favorite type of fruit. Sweet and sour. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so good. <sighs> All right, my friends, you gotta go because I need to water the plants and get out of here. <laughs>